You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. CBC Online, brand new school year with new athletic director Rocky Streb and Dr. Streb. Look at that field, beautiful, beautiful situation. What's going on? It is. Everything's coming together, fantastic. The championship field we recently purchased from the New Orleans Superdome that was used by the Saints in the BCS championship. It's laying here, uh, marvelously, stupendously looking field here at CBC High School. It's always an exciting time of the year, the fall for high school sports lovers, but. For us here at CBC, this is especially, especially good. Pretty meaningful to be able to bring a, a turf that um, last time a game was played on this was the national championship game for the BCS, and now it's sitting here at CBC. That's a pretty amazing story. It is. Uh, it, mystically, that's the whole notion of the championship, the national championship being paid there. Played on that field is, is, is impressive, but um, in reality, it's a great field. I mean. You don't play the kind of games that they played on here if it's not the best quality field. And that's the main thing. It is a high quality field. What uh, is going to be the fan experience this year? I know you guys got a lot, a lot of changes in the stadium, a lot of changes with the tailgate. Uh, you know, everyone's invited to the tailgate, so you're looking for a pretty, pretty good turnout here on Friday. Yeah, we want. We use the word epic to describe the football experience here at CBC this year. We uh, strive to provide our students the best academic the best experience, best total student experience. And in a lot of ways, it starts right here with this, this first football game. We want this to be the premier football, high school football experience for any kid anywhere. We want kids from other places coming here to enjoy the atmosphere. And certainly we want to remind the fans that it's not all about football. We certainly have soccer going on. We have cross country, swimming. but. Right in front of us is a football game on this Friday. A couple housekeeping things. Parking is going to be a bit of a problem. What, uh, what do you want to tell people about parking? Parking is going to be a problem. If you can't arrive early and get involved in Fan Fest or the parent tailgate, then the recommendation, the best recommendation, is you park at Walker Medical, which is up the street, too far to walk. We don't want anybody walking on the outer road. So we're going to run a shuttle bus between Walker Medical and the school. It'll start an hour before game time, and it'll run until everybody's taken care of after the game. So that's your best bet for folks in terms of parking for convenience. Please park at Walker and ride a shuttle bus. Tough way to really predict how many people will show up. I and mean, we have a uh, CBC, which finished 13 and 1 last year. State championship, uh, they were a state state finalist. And Fort Zuma West, they travel well. They were uh, right in the state semifinals last year too. Two really uh, huge programs, and this is becoming a bit of a rivalry between us. It is. It's a nice, friendly rivalry. There's a lot of respect going both ways. I've had numerous conversations with their administration and their coaches over there, and they're excited. We're excited. I've got 4,000 tickets ready to be sold on Friday night. I hope I have enough. Well, let's talk about the tickets because, again, now this year uh, fans will be getting a ticket uh, to come into the gate so we can help keep a better accurate count on our attendance. So what's going on with the tickets? Tickets are uh, another part of the whole uh, improvement uh, plan that we have for our, the football experience. The per patrons will get purchase a ticket. And on the back of the ticket is a coupon. I believe this first game it's going to be McDonald's, but it could be Dick Sporting Goods, some other entities that they can use. Parents can save it for a uh, scrapbook. I think the ticket stub will be fantastic scrapbook material. And we're, it's just another um, way we're trying to turn this into a more professional experience. So, uh, I mean, the, the plan is for the alumni are still going to get in free, and they'll be able to check in at the ticket desk and get a ticket. Right. We, we're still going to honor the alumni passes, even though those aren't out just yet. Yeah, we need to have uh, a ticket for everybody, so alumni are going to be asked to, to either see Joe Gunn, Michael Jordan, or report to the table where we ha we'll have an alumni list, and they can secure as many tickets as, as needed at that point. And um, everybody needs to have a ticket that comes in. doesn't necessarily mean the same thing to each person, but we need tickets. And finally, uh, first year kind of on the job uh, as EAD, a pretty amazing machine, the CBC Athletics. It's a different, I knew having coached here for three years that it was different. It's a different, it's at a different level. Uh, 
the crew here, of which I am a part, I'm not, by no means the Lone Ranger in this endeavor, the crew here's goal is to make this the most premier experience for students and to continue to improve it. We have all the soccer state championships we've won. You mentioned the other fall sports that are going on. We want to be the, the best, best at what we can be in the way we do things. That doesn't equate out into wins and losses necessarily. If you focus on winning, you'll miss the small stuff. If you take care of the small stuff, winning takes care of itself. So as I look out over the field and, and uh, work with the coaches and the athletes and the parents, I think we're all on board. We want to make the small things work best and winning will take care of itself. And finally, uh, any last minute uh, uh, stuff for this Friday? I mean, certainly tailgate party is going to start off at 5 o'clock. A great opportunity to get here early and kind of get a good parking spot. Yes, get here early if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Park at Walker Metal Medical Building. The shuttle's going to be provided. Um, have, and have a good time. Bring your purple pride. And finally, uh, you've had a lot of discussion with Coach Pingle and the team. I mean, these guys are pretty excited about playing in front of a full house. We are. The, the bunker is a place to play. That's what we're calling our field, the bunker. We are the cadets. And um, we're going to hunker down and go to battle on Friday. And the worthy opponent for Zumwalt West is a great uh, game to play. And with that mentality, fantastic high school experience, the best. Again, that's CBC Athletic Director Rocky Streb, and we will talk to you next time. Thank you. CBC, Men for Tomorrow, Brothers for Life.